Hello, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues. Welcome to my today's uh, webinar. This is just like short trailer of my full online masterclass, the course which is set in two webinars and lasts for about five to six hours, depending on the audience questions. Today, we are going to speak uh, some introduction and some basics about resin composite injectable technique in the way of composite veneers, okay? My name is David Gerstakovsky, and I'm really glad that you've shown interest for this topic. So, basically, in modern dentistry, we are following some basic principles that are guiding us, such as we want to have good result, aesthetic result, that it looks nice, functional results, long-lasting results. We want our procedures to be fast and cheap. We don't want some very complicated techniques or expensive expensive uh, treatments so we can deliver to our patient the best possible results which won't be too costly and all those principles i guided in i summed up in one word and that simplicity and this is the concept that will guide us through this presentation you know i'm still a young dentist and i'm attracted by everything implants, periosurgeries, veneers, composite veneers, you name it. I'm still like a little kid playing in the sand. My manual abilities are not on high level like maybe most of yours are. But I'm using one very simple trick, the same that this little girl is using by playing in the sand. She don't know much about statics, about morphology, about sculpting, but she has a mold. She has this bucket which serves as a mold. She fills it with wet sand and she's capable of reprodu to reproduce this magnificent uh, morphology and structures okay the same thing we can do in dentistry like from this case from this situation on very predictable easy and fast way we can get to this result and by predictability i mean that with the use of transparent silicon index all of us who are watching this at the moment will be capable to get the same result okay because we are using the same mold so basically resin composite injectable technique is a technique which is based on transparent silicon index and copy paste molding technique we need to have our wax up which we are going to uh, copy in troll by the use of transparent silicon index the only thing is that we need to take impression of this wax up with transparent silicon index, drill little holes inside of that index, and then inject flowable composite directly on the tooth surface and light cure through the transparent silicon. Some other synonyms of this technique is resin uh, injectable molding technique, flowable injection technique, you name it, these are all synonyms for the same thing, for the same concept. <clears throat> As I mentioned, the most important thing here is to have a transparent silicon index and some global composite. Um, more about resin composite injectable technique you can find in Dr. Terry's book, Restoring with Flowables. Dr. Terry is one great author who described this technique many years ago. He wrote a book about it and a lot of articles. I had a chance to meet him last year in Zagreb when he was teaching courses, very enthusiastic guy, and whenever you have a chance to learn from him, apply for his uh, hands-on workshops. As well, you can learn more about injectable technique from one of my publications from the last year from Quintessence International. The full protocol uh, of this case I'm also showing in my uh, full courses. If you'll be interested, I, uh, can, I can send you the the article as well. So, when it comes to the aesthetics, when we want to choose our treatment plan, we have several options. First and most uh, and most simple options is freehand bonding. Freehand bonding is good. It has uh, quite nice results in literature regarding the longevity, aesthetics, and so on. But with freehand bonding, we are very um, orientated and limited with our skills with our hand 
Sometimes when we will have a better day, our restoration will look better. Sometimes when we won't have that good day, maybe our results won't be that successful. So it's totally limited by the, uh, our skills, uh, our mood, and so on. The next, uh, the next options are prefabricated templates, where we have, such as UV veneers, for example, when we have uh, certain templates which serves as little molds for the vestibular surf surface and morphology, which are impressed in heated composite directly on the tooth surface. There, let's call it a bit better than freehand bonding because we already have some kind of the morphology that we are copy pasting so we are faster, our um, final morphology would be much more predictable, but still there are a lot of things uh, that will influence on final results, such as how big pressure are we going to make, will we choose the right size of, the, uh, of those templates, because not all, temp not all these little templates will fit properly on our patient, etc., etc. So they are not totally individualized. Next step would be index technique. Index technique is something similar to uh, injectable technique because it also used transparent silicon index based on WEXA, which means we have individualized plan. But in this technique, compared to injectable technique where we are using flowable composite, in index technique, uh, it is described by Dr. Amanato in the International Journal of Aesthetic Dentistry. <clears throat> He's using heated composite, based heated composite, which is also a good technique. But in my opinion, I prefer injectable technique because in index technique, transparent silicon is cut into the small pieces. Okay, which means that um, I'm going to show you this transparent silicon is cut into single teeth. Okay, indices. Which means when we place a heated composite inside of the mold and press on the tooth, we need to make external pressure on the mold, on the index, which can cause deformation because stability is not great. We have small part of the tooth which serves for the stabilization, which means the final result also won't be that predictable because it will be influenced by the force and the pressure, external pressure that clinician is doing. Then we have injectable technique, which is similar. Again, we have totally individualized plan, which means we have our wax up for our patient who made transparent silicon index, but we can sit it perfectly stable on the patient in the patient mounts and then inject by making external pressure on the material itself, on the flowable composite, not on the mold, which means mold serves its purpose, it's stabilized perfectly in the mouth and we are injecting under pressure global composite which is filling the space between the tooth and the index. And next we have prefabricated veneers. Prefabricated veneers would be, like, let's say, a higher step in a way of durability and in the aesthetics because they have perfect, perfect uh, morphology of the surface and a very, very nice glossy surface. But again, they're prefabricated. They're not custom made for, for each of our patients, which means we need to adjust them before bonding. And since they're prefabricated, sometimes they can look bulky and they are not indicated for every situation. Compared to them, uh, regular ceramic veneers, which are done estimate for each of our patients are of course, the, of course the golden standards. We can get great results with them, as you can see on social media, wonderful results of ceramic veneers. But what I found uh, a bit like a bad part of ceramic veneers is that in most of the cases we are preparing the tooth, okay? Compared to the injectable technique where when we can stay totally minimal invasive and we don't need to prepare the tooth. Of course, there are no prep ceramic veneers, but as all of you who try to bond them, you find <coughs> difficulties in bonding. They're very thin. They have tendency to break. They're hard 
to be produced by the technician, etc., etc. Et so, taking in consideration all these uh, all these uh, disadvantages and advantages of all techniques, in most of the cases, I'm choosing injectable technique because it's totally individualized for our patient. Based on it, I can check everything in oral with the mock-up because we have wax up and we can transfer it with the mock-up in oral and check everything, function, aesthetics, phonics. Patient uh, will see how he looks like and he or she uh, will say yes or no, I want that or I don't want that or I want some other changes. And it's totally predictable, which means it's some kind of indirect, direct restoration. We are totally copy pasting our technician's morphology, which means we totally eliminate uh, our manual skills, our mood of the day. And all of us in this virtual room will get with the same mold, will get the same result. And that's the great thing about injectable technique. It's not that costly. We are avoiding prep tooth preparation and some uh, uh, higher costs uh, regarding uh, lab part. Basic protocol for injectable technique is very simple. It's similar to regular composite bondings or regular composite fillings. First thing first, we need to check our uh, seating of our transparent silicon index, if it sits properly, passively, without distortion. Then we can go for the other uh, uh, the, the other parts of the procedure, which means we need to prepare our animal. I uh, uh, oftenly I just etch the animal surface. Then we are going for the isolation. For this purpose, I'm using uh, some modification compared to the original technique, such as sometimes I'm using dental cord for the prevention of fluctuation of flowable uh, composite subgingivally or uh, cell color liquid. On the field of work, then we are placing the, then we are placing the um, uh, adhesive, then we are going for the injection phase. As you can see, I'm always cutting my silicon index following gingival line. More about production of transparent silicon, about mock-up, I'm explaining in the full course. But since now we are limited with time, I'm just going to show you some more cases. And if you will be interested you can apply with the link in the description for my full five hours course. Then we are going for the uh, polymerization of our uh, restorations. Uh, you always need to double time because of the distance from the light source to the veneer. And then basically we are going for the finishing and polishing process, which can be not complicated, but which need to be delivered delivered properly with some sequences and steps to get nice result and to get glossy shiny surface. So <clears throat> let's speak a little bit about case selection and indications and contraindications. That's often uh, asked question during my online sessions and I'm always trying to follow these two basic principles, and which means purely additive and minimal invasive. By purely additive, I mean that we can only add material without, without cutting the tooth, without preparing the tooth. And that's for me is minimally invasive treatment. Not veneers when we are preparing the teeth, but the purely additive where we just etch a, a bond and polish okay without preparation of health tooth structure if the the case uh, requires tooth preparation i would go for ceramic veneers compared to composite veneers so whenever you have very uh, big amount of the rotation of the teeth when you have proclined teeth wherever you need to create space by preparing tooth i would not go for the injectable thing. But there is a lot of indication for the injectable technique to stay minimal invasive without touching of the teeth. For example, this case. All of those cases that I'm going to show you, we described in online masterclass in detail with the 
photos, intraoral, extraoral photos of the protocol, planning all mistakes that I did during the during the uh, procedure because this is idea to share the mistakes, not only the success, because you cannot learn from my success, but you can learn from my mistakes. And that is the key point of the education and of sharing knowledge and experience. So, <clears throat> for example, this case, when we have little diastemas, when we have a bit smaller teeth, like this lateral incisor, something similar in this case, so-called pug lateral, when we have this conical shape, lateral single or on contralateral side as well. In this case, it was only on one side. It is very often we seen that lateral incisor, upper lateral incisors has some uh, 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 weird shape, which means they're smaller. Again, we need to <clears throat> enlarge them. We need to add materials, both mesially, distally, and also we need to elongate them to get perfect shape. These are very tiny, tiny corrections you will see later on before after pictures of this case and it can be delivered in very predictable way with injectable technique we can treat different tooth wear cases such as this one you can treat also uh, also severe uh, uh, tooth wear uh, in a way of some kind of full mouth rehabilitation you can re uh, open the bite or re re uh, raise the vertical dimension of the occlusion with composite with injectable technique or you can just treat the tooth wear on the frontal also you can combine it with some other other um, types of restoration for example in the master class i'm showing combinations with the emax crowns and also with uh, porcelain fused to metal crown so all different indications um, we can combine um, also some cases when we have just a little bit overlapping one tooth uh, on the other they're not totally perfectly aligned com combining with this little diastemas we can align this smile in a perfect way if they're not proclined and we are not going to have over mold, over mold restorations. Okay, we need to to think about it. But the good thing with injectable technique that we don't have limitation of the thickness of material. Okay, such as for the uh, ceramics and so on. Once it's bonded on the tooth, it uh, it won't break. For example, in this case where we had the thickness of the veneer, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Uh, millimeters depending uh, on on each tooth on different parts of the tooth <clears throat> also similar when you have also combination for example of the uh, of the uh, tooth wear when teeth are a little bit retruded uh, when they're also overlapping one uh, over the other these are all good cases retruded teeth which have proper function can be proclined only by composite veneers, for example, like in this case you will see later on. I just mentioned retruded teeth or the, retru the retrusional position of the teeth, not inclination, but the whole position. For example, here it's clear that just by adding material on the incisor, lateral incisors, we can create perfect arch of our restoration. So. Uh, this was actually one of my first cases from Quintessence International that I treated. Here you can see a little bit of retrusion of the central incisor, tooth wear, presence of diastema, rotation of the canines. And in my full masterclass you will see this case from the planning till the final delivery and three years follow-up with no staining, with no chipping, with no functional or biological problems with great aesthetic results. In the Quintessence International, you have two years follow-up publicated there. With injectable technique, we, ca we are capable to get very nice smooth surface. Maybe at first it sounds weird, but yes, it is possible. Look at the interface of the approximal, uh, uh, approximal walls of this tooth. Very nice smooth surface is possible to achieve 
also depending from case to case which i am explaining in detail in full masterclass we can recreate micromorphology as well or by birth or by copy pasting our WEXA, which can be analog and digital. We are comparing pr production of transparent silicon based on the analog or based on digital WEXA. There are some differences okay, which you need to take care of. For example, here you can see the lateral incisor and the canines were done in composite. And I think with shape and shade, they fit in very nicely. Here, for example, from canine to canine, all teeth were reshaped by composite. Great texture, great morphology, no, uh, no staining over time, no biological problems such as inflammation, soft tissue. In this case, <clears throat> everything was restored with one shade, but we tried to mimic and to get natural looking result with this micromorphology. All this was copy paste from the analog, analog wax up compared to the first image where all my micromorphology was done by birds. And this is what we discuss in our full course. You can see here, for example, lateral incisor is treated with composite veneers. Half of canine is covered with composite and central incisor is natural tooth. You can see how nicely we can adapt our restoration and fit inside of existing dental arch. Okay. Here are some before after cases. Here you can see the one from the beginning of the presentation. Okay, this was done only by single shade, but with some tricks, with single shade you can still get polychromatic natural looking restorations okay for example you can also change the function of the patient which we are uh, we are uh, explaining in details for example here we don't have much space to in, to elongate the lateral incisors but with reshaping of the canines it was possible also look at the other side we don't have much space but with reshaping of the canines with so-called modified 360 veneers which we are uh, which concept was uh, described uh, in the Quintessence International, it is well, possible uh, in most of the cases. Again, this case I showed you before. Here you can see how we totally aligned those teeth, made perfect, this is girl, feminine look, appearance of those teeth, of the smile. We got nice curvature of the incisal, edges and great morphology of our restoration with, I would say, natural looking like micromorphology as well, because you can see how light plays, light and shadow plays on the surface of her feet. This is her smile, one of my favorite cases because a lot of time and effort was uh, uh, put in the planning and with a good proper planning, we can deliver this nice result. But for example, this is the mock-up that I removed from this patient. Here you can see the thickness of those veneers. They're almost zero millimeter, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. You can see how thin they are. We are just trying to fill those spaces where the tooth structure is missing to recreate great, great morphology and great appearance smile this was done based on digital for example digital wax up and this was done based on analog wax up here you can see how we totally uh, recreate those two structure that was missing with the grinding because of the grinding over the time and this is the patient before and after i think we removed some 10 years uh, from her this before to after image with those composite veneers. Also, one other case when we aligned the, the, uh, the uh, teeth and also we elongate them and proclined, so we got much better appearance of the full face of the patients, which is especially seen 
or so-called social distance, a uh, social uh, social angle of 45 degrees. For example, you can see before and after picture on this slide. You can see the transparency of incisal edge, and I'm also teaching you how to recreate the incisal transparency of your restoration with injectable technique. Actually, there are four different types of modifications how you can get polychromatic veneers. But also, as I showed you, with the monochromatic, with a correct <clears throat> protocol and planning, you can still get nice uh, a look, natural look like a restoration, which looks polychromatic, although it's done only by a single shade. For example, this tooth, maybe you would say there are a few different shades in the uh, this composite restoration, but actually there is only only one. And about shade selection, uh, about planning, and uh, uh, different tips and tricks how to get proper result and how to fit uh, this restoration we are discussing in the full in the full course. And now uh, one uh, million dollar question is timing and pricing. So. Uh, basically, from my experience, around 45 minutes is needed to leave in schedule per tooth. Later on, when you do a couple of cases, half of hour would be enough. So, if you're doing, for example, six teeth, leave at least four hours for your procedure. But it is not only time that you will need to spend on this on your patient. You will also need to spend time in the first appointment, in the consultation, taking uh, uh, intraoral, extraoral images, taking impression, registers, making plan, and so on. Next appointment is mock-up, checking everything intraoral. If some adjustments are needed, if function is proper, do patients like the result, etc., etc. And then third, the third um, appointment is delivery and final procedure and production of the veneers. Taking in consideration all this time that you are giving to your patient and the some cost of disposable material, cost of composite, of transparent silicon, of lab work, the wax up and so on, I came uh, with some uh, with some calculation that that great price for my for my patients, I'm from Croatia, there are people looking at this from all, all over the world. Uh, for my standards, I'm charging half price of porcelain veneer, okay? We have porcelain veneer, ceramic veneer, half price is the inje injectable technique composite veneers, and half price from this is freehand bonding. So, injectable technique, I'm charging double time than freehand bonding, but half price of a ceramic veneer, which is, I think, fair considering all those aspects because uh, ceramic veneers requires more time in the bonding and as well it's much uh, more expensive because of the technician's, uh, technician's lab work. So this is something to think about when you're starting with it. And it's also good marketing trick because when you uh, when you um, explain to your patients the advantages of the ceramic veneers and advantages of uh, injectable technique compared to the freehand bonding that the te uh, technician will do the wax up, that will do the nice morphology, that a uh, patient will be able to see wax up and later on check mock up. Uh, they are delighted with this idea and in most of, in most of my cases they are choosing they're choosing uh, composite veneers done with the injectable technique. Also, very often question is, what about fractions? What about um, uh, complications? To knock on the wood, so far I did not have any chipping problem. But that's because I'm, I'm planning my function in the perfect way. And also I'm advising them to wear hard acrylic night splint more about f uh, function control and long-lasting uh, uh, long um, restoration on some other occasion because we are running out of time. 
for the end, I will speak a little bit about materials. So basically, the most important material for this technique is, of course, transparent silicon index. There are different, different uh, materials on the market. I'm using this one, which is totally clear, as you can see, and it's very precise. Like on this lower image, you can see the impression of the fingerprint is great. And that material I want to use and explaining you how to make transparent silicon with different lab videos and clinical videos. <clears throat> also, uh, I'm using uh, uh, this flowable composite, Genial Universal Injectable from the GC from one particular reason, and that's because of their FSC full, uh, <coughs> full seal and coverage uh, technology, which was patented by them. And I don't want to be boring with the statistics or with the numbers, because all of those slides I'm showing in our regular masterclass, but just for the info, with this technology, we have the flexural strength of this global composite, which is greater than some regular paste composite, we have better resistance to wear, we have better uh, pos uh, polishability and gloss retention, and we have better resistance to discolorations. And all this is very important for long-lasting aesthetic results in way of composite veneers. And I think with the usage of this composite, I'm on a safe side of the road while doing my composite restorations. But the most important thing to prevent fracture is proper planning, proper function, doing impression, face bow, uh, all different registers, uh, articulator, etc., 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 etc. This is the safe side of the road and not only the choose of material. People often ask me, which tools do you need for the production of those veneers? And for everything in dentistry, for me, the answer is the same. It's 3H concept, where H doesn't stand for Heidelman spatula. It stands for hands, for our manual ability to work with uh, some materials, with some uh, technique. It stands for head, for knowing right indication, contraindication, and good therapy plan. And of course, for our heart, for our enthusiasm to deliver the best possible treatment to all of our patients. So, in our full online masterclass, which lasts about five to six hours, we have separated them in two webinars because it's easier for you to uh, be concentrated for three hours in, uh, at once. In first webinar, we are discussing something about introduction about materials a bit more a bit more uh, than on today's webinar about case selection about planning about uh, dental photography videos and so on about production of the wax up uh, different tips and tricks you need to say to your technician uh, before doing wax up for you about the mock up how to deliver good mock up and what to check with the mock up about production of silicon index we have different clinical and lab videos of the production of silicon index, all mistakes that you can do. We are showing you intraoral uh, protocol with different uh, cases, with different uh, clinical images and clinical videos. We are discussing about finishing and polishing protocol, which tools, which instruments are available for this, for this uh, technique. And again, a bit more detail about timing and pricing, although you heard about that in this webinar. In second webinar, I'm discussing different modifications compared to the original described, described technique, all through serial of clinical cases. We are uh, discussing about the longevity of veneers, chipping, and how to prevent it, actually the control of the function, how to change and recreate function of the patient with global composite and transparent silicon index. I'm showing you different tips and tricks how to save your time and how to avoid some mistakes, how to save your time during the finishing phase, how to have less access of material. We are uh, discussing uh, and comparing analog versus digital protocol 
in planning and in production of transparent silicon index and also we are commenting most common mistakes that you can do uh, while doing this uh, this technique because in Croatia we have saying English people learns on Oxford Croatian people learns on their own mistakes so I want to share those mistakes with you so you do not <coughs> you do not repeat them Again, my name is David Keshtakovsky. I'm coming from Croatia, where I'm living, where I've studied, and where I'm working in a small private clinic together with my parents. We also have incorporated small lab within our clinic. I say hi to all of them. Um, this would be it from me now. Uh, if you are interested in uh, taking this course, you can find in the description link for uh, for um, applying or you can contact me on injectable.technique at gmail.com I'm also running Instagram and Facebook page about injectable technique on the Facebook it is called injectable technique by David Gerstakovsky on Instagram injectable technique Gerstakovsky uh, on both pages I am uh, I am um, publishing a different cases, tips and tricks, clinical videos, and also announcement of live session. You can, you can join my online masterclass live, which will be soon, or you can apply for already recorded, uh, already prepared recording, and you can get seven days access to recording of both webinars of full masterclass. You will get the certificate for this masterclass. You can also check my LinkedIn or YouTube channels where some clinical videos are published. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you find those, uh, uh, this topic interesting and hope to see you live on our next, uh, our next session. See you and bye.